Our first visit is to Godalming in Surrey. There's the problem, I think. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, Andrea, how are you? Oh, let's, see. let's go through. Hello. Andrea, how do you put up with this noise? Well, it's been difficult at times, I must say. He's uh, been quite a problem. Yeah, you've got two dogs here. What have you got? There's a Dalmatian called Dylan and Harley. Now, it's Harley with a really piercing bark, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. That is a real... Why does he do that? I don't know. I think it might be his breed. I think the Samoids are known for their yappiness, but I thought as he got older it might get deeper, but no luck yet. It's not just the barking, though, is it? No, no. He has, um... That's his probably most irritating habit. So this is his most expensive habit, which is chewing um, mostly electrical gadgets, furniture in the kitchen. I mean, that's not just Hats. chewing, is it? I mean, he's totally destroyed that, hasn't Yes, he? he's very destructive. As I say, that is his most expensive. Um, and the, the cat flap has gone. He's chewed that off the door. Whose hat is this? I bought this hat for my husband for Christmas, and that's his dog-walking hat, so you'd think that Harley might have had a bit of respect for that, but no. It's a problem for Jan, all right. Will the dog listener be able to make Harley and Dylan better behave dogs? See, what he's done now, this is, this is quite fun. He's gone and got something to... That's draw. Dylan's bed. Yeah, he's gone and got Dylan, the other yeah. one's bed to show us that what I can do. What I'd actually like you to do is just take it off him without speaking. Don't say a word. Just, will he let you take it off him? No. He won't. He won't, he won't like it. All right, I'm not asking you to get bitten. No, I'm no, not... he won't bite me. He just, just won't give it to me. Right, just, take, just pick it up now and put it away somewhere, right away, high away. Just take it off. If you can, just remote, stand your ground. Don't pull. Yeah, what he's doing now, can you actually open his mouth off it? Will he let you? Yeah. You mean it. You just take that off him. You're taking that off him. That's it. Now put it away somewhere high. But you see, what, what, what he was trying to do there was to get you or I to speak to him. He was trying to get somebody, speak to me now, look mm -hmm. at me. Mm -hmm. And your answer was, no. I know they're in and out of here at the moment. What I'd like to do is get them in here and shut the door. The reason being we can get a little bit more concentration on communication. Right now they're doing their own thing. Okay. Okay, so let's Come, boys. Come. Good boys. Come on. Holly, Dylan. So what's happening here is come on, but Dylan is getting hyper. He's becoming bigger. You see, although he's not a small dog, now looking at eye level with me, look. Actually, almost eye level. That's deliberate. A lot of dogs do that. You know, I'm the king of the castle. I'm not as big as you, but I'll physically show you. Now, my reaction to that is this. Please yourself. We leave them for a minute. Let, let them shout. What we say to them, let them shout at me. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> but you don't get upset. Chewing is a very, very common thing we see with dogs that are troubled because it's a stress mm -hmm. relief. Mm -hmm. When you chew, you kick in your natural endorphins, your own morphine. Yes your adrenaline rush, if you like. It's all mm. quite natural. You will find all these things subside mm. because the, the stress level drops. I'm here to offer something, mm. a solution. Mm. Oh, no, desperately, desperately. Oh, I know, I know you do, I know. Some... But I assure you this, they're no worse than I've seen before. Oh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open that door mm -hmm. and I'm going to permit them to come back in. Okay. But when they come back in, I actually want you to ignore them. Now, this is, sounds tough, and people often say, oh, you only ignore dogs. No, we don't. Initially, it's that, like anything, initial information, and the stronger it is, the better. And to begin with, we have to be very exaggerated about what we do. You see, they want to be in the pack. You see, I mean, nobody had to call them. It was, oh, we're back in, yeah? Now they've come in, they've gone... Who are you? Rather than stand out there and go, don't come in my house, you know, my babies, I've got to do all the protecting. What I said to them is, please yourself, I don't be shouted at. <laughs> now, actually, what I do is, because he started barking, take hold of his collar and put him in, outside in the hall. Don't speak. He doesn't want to go, I know. I, I know he doesn't want to go. Try and do it without, without um, the other one, if you can. I know that's difficult. Just shut... That's beautiful. Now, that may seem a bit dramatic. He must learn consequences of actions. Right. If you are... You know, just imagine you've got a friend round for coffee, yeah. yeah? And you're having a nice chat, and one of the children comes up and says, oh, Right, now put him out. Now put him out. He learns, con he learns consequences too. You know, you won't be shouted and hollered at. You're not going to take that. Just put him out. Put them out and leave them, leave them alone. 
So I'm hoping to get 10 or 15 seconds of silence because this method is all about praising desirable behaviour. If I've got it, now they get rewarded. Reward is very quick. This is all reward based. Do I no, you don't know. You don't even know. You don't acknowledge them. No, 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 no. I'm just waiting. No, you see, what this is, the reward is being permitted back into the kitchen. But you see, that's why I don't want a long pause there. I don't want it to be, they forget why. Mm. They stop barking. The door's open. Wow. Mm. That's why it must be quick. Mm. You know, any reward is only as good as the speed it's given in. You will find that this instance of him moving around and being agitated will get shorter and shorter mm. and shorter. Mm. But straight out. Straight out. The most important thing is you don't get cross, you don't shout. See, now he's unhappy. Now he's very unhappy because he was trying to defend you and he's out there. How can I defend you when we're not together? He's got to, he's got to work that out. He goes out now. Look, at, it's going to be a lot easier to put him out this time. Look, because he's, he's actually getting... It, it, it's, it was almost there, like, oh, all right. You know, but that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We have to repeat the same process until they get the message. Right. It's getting shorter. Mm -hmm. Got my 10 seconds. Yeah. They get the reward. It's all reward based. All reward. And the reward is come and join us again. And each time they come back in, they're calmer. Have you noticed they're not, but, you know, steadier? Mm. Because they're learning. Mm. Because they're not stupid. They're canine. Yes. I will just want calm dogs that are socially acceptable, that I'm not forever making excuses for or defending their yeah. behaviour. I just want calm, well-behaved dogs. Now we've got it. You said he mm. doesn't usually relax. No. We have mm. an, a, an improvement, yes, I think. straight away, yeah, straight away. Here we go, then. It's been six weeks since I last knocked on this door. Let's see what happens this time. No sound at all. That's very impressive. I don't believe that. Hello. Oh, and here they are, they're hi. not barking. No, they but... don't mind you coming today. That is brilliant, isn't it? Let's have a look at them. Come on. <laughs> Andrea, what has happened to that lovely bark that Harley used to have? Well, it's definitely improved. He doesn't bark nearly as much as he used to, and, um, on the whole, things are much quieter in this house. Good. And what about the chewing? Cos that was a problem as well. Chewing has... Touch wood has completely finished. We, we've, he's not chewed anything. In fact, a lot of the things have been able to be restored now, and he's not chewed them again. The so cat flap. The cat flap's back in situ. He still puts his head through the door, though, look. Yes, but he doesn't chew the cat flap off. Andrea, thank you. Holly, well done. Another successful story for the dog listener.